I'm about to play every single NFL 2K game ever created. We're starting with the original NFL 2K on the Sega Dreamcast. Look at this controller. This is like an ancient artifact. We've got the menu screen here. This is this is kind of different. This is kind of a weird interface. I, I guess it's supposed to be shaped kind of like a football. So we've got practice. We've got tourney, exhibition, season, playoffs. We've got customization. Just checking out the player creation, kind of seeing what it looks like. I mean, look at the graphics. I mean, you could tell this is an old game. Look at these faces this is horrendous this is terrifying what is going on here got the breath strip got the face masks look at these cleats they're like pointy like elf shoes check out some of the teams here we got afc and nfc teams we've got the nfl all pros got some regular teams here of course man some of these teams that are good today were really really bad back then this is kind of funny to look at we got the vikings with a hundred overall offense that's probably because randy moss cover boy let's just go ahead and play with the vikings see what the pregame was looking like you know 2k was usually good for for presentation but keep in mind this is very early 2000s so it might not be too crazy got some players warming up on the field a little bit i mean the graphics are i mean for, for 2000 they're not that bad honestly but just compared to today it's weird to look at this guy is just not ready to play at all all right, we're underway. Now, bear with me. I do not really know the controls, so I, I never played any of these old 2K games. The only one I played was 2K5, so you're just gonna have to bear with me. Oh my goodness. Come on, Randy. Randy, we're just a little too far out. We got Randall Cunningham at QB as well. We're going up top to Randy. Come on, Randy. Come on, Randy. We got it. We got it. Randy Moss. Randy Moss. I, I don't even know what I'm doing in the game, but I know one thing. You throw it up to Randy Moss. That was an easy touchdown. Randall Cunningham in the pocket with a cannon of an arm over the top. Randy Moss, no one was even close to him. He burned both Chiefs, and he's walking in for a touchdown. Yeah, look at Randy. He's going crazy in the end zone. Offense was one thing. Playing defense, probably going to be a lot harder. Look at these play call screens. These are, these are weird. We're going to go with a little blitz here. I think this is a blitz at least. I don't know what button does what on defense. I don't know. Oh, I tried to jump for a pick, but that was overthrown anyway. Send a little blitz up the middle here. See what happens on third down. Got, got to put pressure on him. We don't want him to be comfortable on a third and long. Come on. Come on. Okay. We just got to get there. Oh, he dropped it anyway. That's easy. Let's go to the ground game here. Let's go. Okay. Can we break out? Oh, we almost got out of there. Good. Good tackle. Not These aren't bad animations for 2000. Got him with a play action. Play action. We got Y. I think we got Y. Can we get to it? He dives. I think that was Chris Carter, but he missed it. When in doubt, we go up to Randy Moss. He's got it again. Let's see. Let's see. We're going to Y. We're going to Y. Reed. Come on, Reed. Can we get in there? Get in there. No, he's short. He's a yard short. Passing the ball is kind of easy. Running's a little harder, but we're, we're just barely in there. That was a weird animation. We got in there. Watch this right here. Like, what happened right here? He just got, like, turned around, but I guess we broke the plane. We're in there. NFL 2K21, still on the Sega Dreamcast. All right, so the menu looks about the same. It's got this same kind of weird football interface. It looks like pretty much all of the same options. Checking out franchise mode here. This is the early 2000s, so, again, might not be a whole bunch. We've got management. We have the depth chart. We could cut players. We could sign players. We could trade them. We've got scouting what is this about okay so this isn't like scouting college players or anything i was about to say that would be kind of advanced for this time it looks like you could just kind of look at the other team's players kind of see what their strengths and their weaknesses were stuff like that that's pretty cool you got a team needs section you've got a news section but there's just nothing in here right now probably as you play through the season you'll have news so not bad for early 2000s got some teams here a lot of these teams have low overalls the colts are good i mean this is peyton manning time so of course cowboys are good dolphins good defense not very good offense eagles were bad patriots weren't very good i think this was before tom brady probably the year that he maybe took the job during midseason i think that might have been this year the raiders let's check out the raiders let's see what the pregame was looking like a year later i'm assuming not a bunch of changes here we've got some little overlays now i don't think we had this last year so little minor upgrade there still showing the players on the field and graphics don't really look much better this year honestly oh come on can we get out of there on the kick return come on he's breaking tackles can we go Oh my goodness, who is this guy? This guy's a, a monster. He broke like eight tackles. Let's see, we got Tyrone Wheatley. There's a name, Tyrone Wheatley. I think, I believe that was his name. Nice first run. Let's go back to the big fella. Come on, Tyrone. Come on. Oh, nice tackle. Nice animation. Go for a little pass here. Okay, I think uh, Dudley. I don't know who that is. Come on, Dudley. We're breaking tackles, but the Bills obviously can't tackle very well. Got the little instant replay. I mean, like I said, early 2000s, this isn't, this isn't bad. I mean, look at the instant replay. This 
was pretty nice. Let's see if we can hit Tim Brown. Tim Brown. Tim Brown back at the end zone. Look at the toe tap. That actually was a pretty crazy animation. This is what, like, the year 2000, 2001? That was a pretty crazy catch animation for early 2000s. Watch this. PA, Rich Gannon. Nice pass. Watch this. Look at the toe tap. And then the tackle. That was honestly better than some of the animations we see in like modern day Madden games. No lie. Once again, I don't know anything about defense. I'm trying. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best, but I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, what, what do we got going on here? We got some audibles going on from the QB. Oh no. Oh no. Almost picked. We'll take it though. Let's see if we can't get Tim Brown again. We're in the pocket. We're in the pocket. Beautiful. Tim Brown. Tim Brown across the 50. Rich Gannon. Perfect passer rating so far. Okay. Tim Brown again. Can we get him again? Okay. Can we get out of here? Tim. Tim, okay, all right. We got, like, three receptions, 63 yards, and a touchdown. Not too bad. The game feels pretty smooth. I will say that. I, I like how it feels. I like how it plays. Animations are pretty solid. Like, even though this is from a long time ago, it makes sense. Like, it feels like it makes sense. Look at Tim Brown. There's literally no way. What, what was that? That's the craziest catch I've ever seen in a video game, maybe ever. Watch this. I'm going I'm to be honest. I just threw it up. I, 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 the pressure was on. I just pressed the button. Look at this catch. What in the world, Tim Brown? NFL 2K2. Now we're officially on the PlayStation 2. So we still have a pretty similar interface here. Not crazy about this. And it doesn't look like many different options. It looks like about the same options. The player creation looks a ton better now. I mean, but we're jumping over to the PS2, so it should. The faces look a ton better. I mean, look at this. This looks actually not bad at all. Got some elbow pads. I mean, again, we're still early uh, 2000s here. This isn't horrible. Franchise mode still looks about the same. Uh, team management, it looks like. Basically, you can kind of do the same stuff. No nothing too crazy has changed. Seems like the overalls are a little bit higher this year than they were in the past couple games. It just seems like they kind of bumped things up just a little bit. Oh my goodness, look at the Texans. I think this was their expansion year, so that's why they're rated so ridiculously low, but... Wow. Checking out the pregame for 2K2. I like the little graphic overlay we have. I'm expecting it to be significantly better now that it jumped to the PlayStation 2. So let's see. Look at this. We got Marvin Harrison. I mean, that looks like him. That's like really good graphics. That looks like Marvin Harrison. It's got some of his info there. I like this. We've got some info popping up on the screen. This is actually really nice. We got keys to the game here, offensively and defensively, what we need to do. We've got the Jaguars keys to victory. I mean, like they could do stuff like this in current matches. And like just little stuff like this it's nice it, it, it goes a long way yeah graphics definitely look a ton better this year as they should as they should oh we're gonna run it back what is the kicker doing the kicker was just standing there we almost ran it back play call screen still the same i'm not really a fan of this interface to be honest going to work with peyton manning play action oh we got marvin harrison up top oh good defense needed more air under that ball but we got edger and james so we don't care oh look at that block that was filthy edger and james he could go all the way edgar and james walking in for the touchdown and doing a little celebrating just gonna try my best to get a stop here it worked in the last two games okay okay come on oh fred taylor's just making it hard i don't really feel like he got the first down there they got fred taylor so i feel like they're gonna try to run the ball some more so i'm trying okay they didn't they did not at all oh but that should have been a pick come on now Big third down here. Let's get off the field so we can go throw the ball with Peyton Manning. Got to get off the field. Got to get off the field. Okay, that's good coverage. And we got the pick. We actually got a pick. Peterson. Oh, no. What am I doing? What am I doing? Peterson. Peterson. What a play. He's still going. What's going on? Is there, is there a flag? I think there's a flag. They just won't let me be great. They're calling pass interference. I didn't see it. I think the ref made a bad call personally. Come on. No. Fred Taylor. Stop that man. Another third down. Can we get off the field? Oh, there we go. I thought I was going to get a pick again, but we'll take the incomplete pass. Little punt return action. Little punt return action. Can we go? Oh, look at the juke. Look at the stick. Penalties might have been something new this year. because I don't remember seeing them last year. Come on, Peyton. We got Marvin over the top. What a catch. And he broke it. He broke it. In this game, some of the animations are kind of wild. Marvin Harrison on a post. I think we got him. What a dime. What a dime from Peyton to Harrison. And one of the best connections of all time. We had to go to it. Look at this pass. We just thread the needle. NFL 2K3 powered by ESPN. This is when the game kind of went to the next level once ESPN got involved. You can even see the menu. This is an amazing 
amazing menu. This is a million times better than the previous games. It actually looks like ESPN. This is awesome. Inside your game modes here, you got franchise. You could even import the NCAA 2K3 class. So you can see things are starting to kind of take a step up now. You've got season mode, playoffs, tournament, exhibition, practice, situation mode. That was new. Just to kind of see the difference based on the previous games. I mean, again, it, it looks better this year. The graphics look better. It looks like you might have a few more options of things you can do. There's more wristband options, of course. We've got some more elbow options. They're, you know, they're, they're starting to add some more things here. You got the sleeve, got the eye black, of course. You got mouthpieces. You can put visors on now. Pretty cool stuff. Check out some of the rosters here. Kind of see what the players were looking like back then. Terrell Owens, 93 overall. The Bears had Erlacher. Of course, he was the cover boy this year, 99 overall. Jason Elam, the best player on the Broncos, is the kicker. Warren Sapp, 99 overall. Look at this Bucks team. I mean, they had some crazy players, especially on defense. Tony Gonzalez, 98 overall. Peyton Manning at a 95 overall. Surprised he's not higher. Look at the Rams, 299 overalls. Orlando Pace and Marshall Falk. And then Kurt Warner was a 98 overall. This is the greatest show on turf. Jonathan Ozzin is 100 overall. I didn't know they did that. So that's pretty crazy. So franchise mode got a bit of an upgrade. We've got the coach's desk with the computer. I remember seeing this in, in videos for sure. So this is interesting. You've got your calendar of course which it looks like is just your schedule of games let's see what's in the front office you've got contracts trades you've got the trading block which is probably new team needs game planning is going to be okay your depth chart injury report coach game plan so you can kind of tailor the run versus the pass short versus deep this is interesting uh, the run, finesse versus power, how much you want to blitz, coverage, short versus deep. I mean, again, this is 2002 is when the game was actually made. This is pretty cool. Now, here's the presentation. So already we got a new screen here. This is actually really nice. I like this. This is the little things that matter here. They're, they're upgrading it now, giving it the ESPN look. Now we're on the field. We've got the ESPN interface still going. Graphics look really, really nice. The field looks kind of weird right now. I don't know if it's just this camera angle. Got the players warming up. I mean, look how good this looks. They're definitely upgrading. And now you're seeing more of a noticeable jump in both the graphics and some of the presentation things. Okay, the field kind of looks janky. I don't know if that's just my game or what, but the field looks a little off. Still got the same play call screen. I'm loving the ESPN scoreboard as well. Like that takes me back to the old football days. I'm loving that. And of course, we're going to Marshall Falk. Okay, first play, Marshall. Marshall was almost out of there. The stadium overall looks good. The field just looks kind of weird. Okay, we got Square. Come on. Oh, that's Tory Holt. That's Tory Holt. We got to feed Marshall Falk. He's too good. Let's get to the outside. Come on, Marshall. I don't know any of the running back moves. That was a really cool animation right there. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Am I right? Oh, Marshall. Marshall's out of there. Untouched. Beautiful blocking. Can we go? Marshall Falk is in for the touchdown. That was a little too easy. I like the little replay transition with the ESPN logo. This looks really good. This looks like for the time, this look kind of watching a real game. Like the presentation is on point. I'm loving it. I'm just honestly loving all of the ESPN presentation and some of the sponsorships you're seeing in the stadium. I just like the feel of this game. And what's crazy is EA, I believe, has the ESPN license, but they've never used it in Madden. Oh, no, we're going to give up a kick return. We're not about to give up a kick return. Come on, run him down. I think we're going to catch him. I think we're going to catch him. I think we're going to catch him. Please. Cordell Stewart's the quarterback. That's a name, too. I forgot all about him. Him. Now, we've been doing pretty good on defense, but we haven't had to start in the red zone, and there goes the bus. Okay, that was... Oh, and he ran us over. I mean, okay. That's what Jerome Bettis does. Let's watch the replay. Look at this replay camera angle. This is honestly cool. Like, again, this looks like something you would have saw on TV. I mean, look at the bus. Just a monster. ESPN Football, also known as 2K4. Look at this menu screen. This is just beautiful. It's the ESPN Studio. This just looks great. There, there's nothing else to say about it. This is when they had first-person football. Now, of course, we're going to have to play it. It's, it's going to be hard, but we're going to try. We got the crib as well. Game modes. Let's see. Franchise, season, tournament, situation, online. So nothing different with the modes. These two things right here. I remember these were big selling points. Create a player looks kind of about the same but I, it looks like it's a little bit more detailed now i mean I, obviously the graphics are getting better but th this looks about the same they had historic teams as well of course that's something we wish madden would do look at some of the rosters we got owens at a 95 erlacher a 96 overall Corey dillon 92 warren Sapp was on the cover he was a 98 overall along with Derek brooks brian dawkins 99 overall adam vinatieri 99 overall let's see what brady was brady was only a 82 that's interesting we got to check 
check out the crib. This was kind of a big deal this year. I, I, I didn't really play 2K4 much. I played it very little, but I do remember this. So I think you would just collect things from playing the game to just update your crib. So right here would be where all of your awards would go on the wall, your trophies. So we can kind of look around here. You can see we got a little TV, old school television. I mean, that's that's a blast from the past. Got some furniture. I think you could upgrade stuff like that. We've got the aquarium. You could see the backyard a little bit. We got the hot tub indoors. Okay. Oh, I remember this. There was an air hockey table and like a little paper football table. This is crazy. Okay, we're trying out the first person football. So this is the presentation on first person. You were literally in the helmet. I definitely remember playing this. It, it was it was tough. It was not really the most practical thing, but, but it was kind of cool. We're literally in the helmet. We're about to return this kick. This is crazy. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. Okay. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Much better play call screen. This is more kind of what I'm used to. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't know what's going on. This isn't, this is insane. Let's try running the ball. This is probably easier. Okay. Garrison Hurst. Garrison Hurst trucking forward. I like it. I think we got some good yards there. This right here is honestly ahead of its time. It just is. Did we get it? We're very close. I think we're very close to the first down. It's a yard to go. We're going for it. Come on, Hurst. Come on. Get there. Get there. I think we got it. I think we just barely got it. We did. First down. I'm going to attempt to throw the ball. But this is where it's hard because it's it's very hard to see if the receiver's open. I think he just kind of had to trust that it was there. Okay. Did we complete it? I think we did. We got a first. Let's go. Let's see if we can score a touchdown in first person. Just way ahead of its time. I mean, we're just now getting like a real NFL VR game that just came out recently. And this we had in 2004. Let's try the defense out. So you can move around on defense to be the guy you want. Let's see if we can make something happen. See, the problem is I can't even see who's open on the field. Let's try a safety. Let's see about being a safety. It's kind of hard to be somebody that's not on the D-line because you really can't see too much of, like, what's happening. You just kind of have to trust your instincts, I guess. This is a crazy view, I'm not going to lie. But I think the D-line is probably the move because you're just kind of either going for the running back or you're going for the quarterback. Okay, we're in there. We were in there for the tackle. I like it. I want to try to score in first person. Okay. Okay. Go up the field. Up the field, T.O. We got it off. We got it off. Come on, T.O. Come on, T.O. We got it. Did we get it? First down. Let's go. Big catch, T.O. If anybody's going to score this touchdown, it's T.O. Oh, Lord, we got laid out. Fourth and one. We could take the three, but we want the touchdown. Fight for me. Garrison Hurst, he's still going. He almost got out of there. He literally got to, like, the goal line. He almost broke out, but I think we're going to punch it in right here. Come on, Garrison. Get in there. We did it. We scored in first person. Honestly, pretty impressed with myself there because I didn't think I'd be able to. Look at the replay. I like the replay screen. That's nice. Okay, I like this, 2K. I like this. This is where it should get good. I, this is 2K4 now, so things were, were getting up there because 2K4 and 2K5 really were, they were both really good games. And I, I'm liking this. I'm liking the ESPN presentation, of course. We're getting hype pregame, okay. Got Jim Hazlitt, coach of the Saints. A little talking on the sideline here. You could see there, it's getting a little bit more in depth. We got the kicker working on his kicks pregame. Got Michael Vick and Warwick Dunn out here warming up, stretching, getting loose. Got Dante Stallworth running routes. I remember all these players. I'm impressed with myself. I remember these guys like it was yesterday. But can we return the kick? Can we return the kick? We might. We might return the kick. We might return the kick. I don't even know who this is. I don't remember who this guy is, but he's good enough to return the kickoff. Let's go, Saints. And we're going crazy on the sideline. High five, celebrating. You love to see it. Graphics are looking pretty crispy as well. I'm not even going to lie to you. You could see it. Look at it. Still don't have much of, the, of a clue about the buttons on defense. I'm kind of just running around here, just trying my best. Another third down. We got to get off the field this time. Come on, Charles Grant. Come on. He got pancaked. Get to Vic. Get to Vic. Let's go. Let's go. We'll take it. Incomplete. We got Michael Lewis on the punt return, though. I don't know if you guys remember him. I sure do. This guy was a beast. Well, he's not. Okay, he broke the tackle. Michael Lewis. Michael Lewis. No way we return two kicks. No way we return two kicks. It looks like we're going to Michael Lewis to the house. Are you serious right now? We're just killing him on special teams. Got the cheerleaders doing backflips. I mean, what is going on here, 2K? This is awesome. Okay, we got the ball back because I want to play a little offense. Come on, Deuce. Deuce. Deuce is loose on the first play. Look at the fans going crazy. Again, early 2000s here. This was really good stuff. Nice replay angles. Nice replay cameras. I'm loving all of this. 
Come on, Aaron Brooks. Oh, we got Stallworth wide open in the middle of the field. Dante Stallworth, first down. We need to get Joe Horn involved. Right here, Joe Horn. Joe Horn. What a catch, baby. Okay, I like the cutscenes on the sideline. Of course, we have stuff like this today, but back then, this stuff was a lot cooler. Cheerleaders doing a little shimmy on the sideline during the commercial break after the first quarter. Little details. I love them. Okay, got a little sprint out play. Joe Horn on the sprint out. Look at that catch animation. That was nice. That was really nice. 2K really was always on point, man. We got to watch that back. We had a little sprint out play here. Love the play design. And watch this by Joe Horn. Nice route running too. I mean, that's crispy route running. Look at that beautiful catch. It's fourth down. I'm going back to this play. It worked last time. Come on, Joe Horn. Joe Horn, fight. He's in. He kept the feet inbounds. Look at Joe Horn and he's dancing. That's what Joe Horn did. He would always show off and there go the cheerleaders. Another backflip. I'm loving this. This is fun. How could you not love this game? It's time for the masterpiece, NFL 2K5. So we got a menu screen that's kind of similar to last year, but they changed it up a little bit. Let's check out the game modes. We've got franchise. We've still got first person football. We've got ESPN 25th anniversary. And then all this other stuff is about the same. Let's see what the 25th anniversary is. Okay, I do remember this. These were legendary games that you could play and kind of recreate. Why are you doing this to me? Why, why are you showing me the Saints choking? I, I, I know, we choked. Even back in the 80s, we choked. And you're calling us the Aints. Like, that's just, that's actually really crazy, 2K. That was not necessary. I mean, these, these are some of the craziest games ever, and, and you could recreate them. I think that's pretty cool. Still had the crib. Let's see what the crib was looking like, if anything changed. It is a different crib. It's a little bit bigger for sure i mean again this is where some of your awards and stuff would go this is just crazy i'm sorry but i love stuff like this okay you can go upstairs this year this is where you put all your trophies and stuff like that. You can get kind of memorabilia to put on the wall. Awesome stuff. Check out some of the rosters here. Just looking at some of the players. Laurie Malloy now on the Bills. Champ Bailey now on the Broncos. 93 overall. Derek Brooks, 96. LaDainian Tomlinson up to a 97. Marvin Harrison, 100 overall. We haven't seen many of those, but he definitely deserved it. Terrell Owens, another 100 overall. And he was on the cover of the game, so of course. Torrey Holt was also 100 overall. So a bunch of 100 overall receivers. Now this was awesome you could customize celebrations now keep in mind madden just put like a bunch of celebrations in the game over the past few years but you could back in 2k5 customize your celebration for different players or maybe this would be the case for every player i'm not sure so if i want to take that out you know i can look at all these different celebrations that i have and after a play or whatever the case see this this was like a joe horn thing right here that he would do uh but he already has that equipped so we wouldn't need to equip it twice but these are just all different ones and you could equip five of them to your player that he could do after touchdowns or first downs or anything just honestly super cool stuff you can't even do this in modern madden games of course we got to check out franchise mode I mean, this is one of the best franchise modes ever so we got front office we've got franchise status you got the computer you could look at so contracts and stuff like that cap management so you see things are things are definitely taking a step up in 2k5 these are things that we didn't completely have in the older games of course we did have team needs but they're just making it look a little better you got the trade block you've got the coach's card with all of his info you've got the game plan so this stuff is kind of similar you know you can adjust the game plan however you want got espn.com so this might be different you did you had an email inbox for the team owner glad to have you aboard coach welcome to the ravens organization i'm really excited about the 2004 2005 season so on and so forth so you would get emails from like the owner and stuff like that just little details you got standings you've got the transaction screen when there are transactions you've got statistics they even had power rankings i don't think we even have that in current madden they literally had power rankings that's pretty cool so here's kind of before you play you've got scouting so you can scout your opponent get some analysis on your opponent you've got prime time performers like this is cool stuff like the details that were in this you've got the injury reports there's no injuries here you can look at the pass offense rush offense pass defense rush defense you can get a complete breakdown of literally everything about your team and your opponent and then you can schedule like tasks for the week so on monday we can add a task we can go to coaching we can do a team meeting 
So look, this is just how in-depth it got. You can see you've got your team morale, your team focus, and then, you know, how you want the meeting to go. Is it a happy meeting? Is it angry? Did you just lose a game? Are you irritated, disappointed, calm, hopeful, confident? Do you want to discuss key moments of the game? Do you want to hand out game balls, evaluate the performance? You could also add more tasks for this day. You could add player tasks. Look at this. You could go to each individual position. Do you want the quarterbacks to be in the film room, weight training? aerobic training this increases stamina and strength through a series of classic aerobic exercises alternate methodology help players hit those areas that are off the map working on everything from focus to confidence in the huddle like you could do all of this so so look at this you even got it goes even more in depth the intensity level low medium high what's the task is it acupuncture is it a deep tissue massage like low carb diet like you could do all of this number of sets like it's just look at the stuff weight training if we want to put them in the weight room what are we working on arms chest hamstrings film room what are we looking at fronts coverages blitz packages man zone tendencies like look at all of the stuff you could do you could even do rehabilitation for players i guess if that was players that were injured you can rehabilitate them and kind of get them back uh healthy faster so and you could do this for every day of the week look now on Tuesday, we've got team drills, seven on seven drills. And let's see, we got notepads, partial pads. This is something that was just literally added to Madden last year. Then once you get through the week, you can go in on Saturday and you can have the results from what happened. You can see, you know, just how it affected the, the players, the improvement of each player group depending on what you did with them that week you've got player results for individual players did they go up in any attributes like you would train them all week different things and that would affect how you go into the game you would also get injury reports if somebody got injured during the week and then of course on sunday you play the game then after the week is over the best part you could watch sports center for that week and this is what everybody remembers this is what separated 2k from every other football game ever you literally had sports center in the game and you had Chris Berman and he would do this he would do this um you know throughout the entire week I think you would even have halftime shows if you played in the game as well but you know he would go over the games that week you would see the stats of the players this was literally NFL primetime in the game and they would even show you plays from games that you didn't play in so this is the Bills versus the Jags graphics look amazing by the way and they would show you plays that happened in that game this is something we have still to this day never seen in a game again. This was just so incredibly ahead of its time, and, and the fact that we still have not seen this in an NFL game honestly is upsetting at this point. Then they would even have the primetime players. Like, I forgot about how in-depth this went. It would talk about the best players in the NFC and in the AFC, one on offense, one on defense, I believe. Now we're going to jump into a quick game because we want to see how the gameplay is looking, and you would get this pre-game it would kind of give you all the breakdown of what you could expect from your opponent you know their percentages of where they would pass and run on the field and now we've got the pre-game presentation they knocked it out of the park this year you got the fans coming into the stadium now that was kind of a new addition you still got similar pre-game graphics obviously overall the graphics look really good you've got all the espn branding and the logos and everything you're seeing some stuff on the sideline i will admit that does not really look too much like terrell owens a lot of the faces in the previous games look good that doesn't really look that much like terrell owens but you you know we'll give it a pass you got the players warming up with some information about them some statistics so stuff we've seen in some of the previous games but they're just taking it up a slight notch it looks a little better okay this game feels a little bit slower than the previous ones feels just a tad slower i love this interface as well like the the play call screen would just show a little bit of them on the field and then you would have kind of what happened with the last play this was a really cool interface you'd have the sideline reporters and all that good stuff i mean this was just this was awesome show you some statistics of last season for the players on the screen used to love these little details they would add we definitely got to try to get terrell owens involved there he is oh we had him and we got sacked he was wide open i think we got terrell owens is that terrell owens yes it is first down to and look at the crowd look at the crowd this is better crowd reaction than we have and i mean it's probably similar to be fair even at the espn sky cam but when we're talking about how long ago this was the fact that it, any of this can even be close to what we have now is like i guess said it's just upsetting it should be better got some terrell owen stats popping up on the screen i love the details once again we got to go to westbrook though brian westbrook man he was that was a really cool player you know i'm looking for to to there it is what a dime 
Touchdown Terrell Owens. I mean, just look how good these animations were back then. It just felt, it, I mean, 2K was always a little bit better on the gameplay side, even when Madden was better, but just really good, smooth animations. They looked very realistic. The Giants had Kurt Warner. I forgot that the Giants actually had Kurt Warner later in his career. That's interesting. He got the vendors serving food in the crowd. Just amazing. I'm coming on the blitz again. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. Let's go. What I told you. Well, he, he broke my tackle, but my guys cleaned it up for me. Let's go, baby. This was cool, too. They would show this like in the middle of the game. Again, little details. They would show you where you were completing passes, where you scored your touchdowns, what area of the field. Used to love stuff like this. Let's see what we could cook up with McNabb. Okay, Westbrook. Fit it in there. Oh, nice knockout. Again, look at these animations. These were really, really solid. But you know what? We got T.O. We got T.O. We got T.O. And we're out. We're out. I don't know who Peterson is, but he can't guard this man. T.O. For the touchdown. That's two today. And look at him celebrating with the crowd again. Just, oh my God. I know I sound like... Like, I'm just going crazy over this right now, but just the little details for a game this old, it's just incredible, man. It just really, really is. This is a fun time. Now, in case you didn't know, there's a new NFL 2K game set to actually come out next year, and you can learn more about that in this video right here on the screen. I also have a video where I played every NCAA college football game, which you can check out here as well.